Welcome back to Cardstown. Oh, and we fit right in. Yeah. How nice. I see that we, see that we are a spade, looks like. Well, we're, sp we're a spade in front, and then we have a heart-shaped skull Aww, as a yeah. bow. Oh. <laughs> I picked that up at Hot Topic. They had a special on heart-shaped skulls. Oh man, this now goes from getting... idyllic sky to corrupt ruin zone real fast. Yeah, we're, now we're getting to the meat of chapter four, and and uh, well, I think <laughs> you're guessing where we're going. And the meat is gross. Oh, real moral choices, left and right. No, we want to go left oh, okay. because there's a reason. Because there's of a re reasons. there's a there's a reason that the left is better than right. Well, it takes us to a, a keep. Oh, with a collective, I see. Yeah. Uh -huh. so if you took right, well, too bad for you. <laughs> Real moral choices, like I said. Oh, man, somebody needs to stop pooping on every ramp in Wonderland. It's really inconsiderate. Oh, cool. Oh, this is like the section of Bayonetta where you get a motorcycle and now you're on a highway. Only you don't have a motorcycle. Yet. Yet. Motorcycle made out of all the Wonderland friends that you've killed. Back to admire your handiwork, returning to the scene of the crime. It had to be done, Cat. You said so yourself. You and this Red Queen cannot both survive. She is a cancer in your body. Excise her or perish. Well, she was the face of evil in the heart of darkness. She didn't treat you too well last time. Lost your head, as I recall. She was completely deranged. You picked up her crown, but now you've put it down. You must speak to her. What's left of her, anyway? The Queen's Land. She spirit bombed the Queen's Land. Queensland. Queen's Land is a. Uh... It's pretty good. It's kind of weird because if you had played this the first game, this game is significantly like retreading the same kind of territory you did in the first game. But at the same time, if you haven't played the first game, you, there's a lot of references and stuff that you wouldn't really catch in the set. Well, I mean, this is this is completely remade, so it's not like it's the same pass. Uh, I just mean like story-wise. Um, I guess. I mean, it's kind of like, uh, like the in Metal Gear Solid 4 where you go back to Shadow Moses. Yeah. It's kind of like that. You know what? I like this comparison a lot. <laughs> That's but it, it's it's a good comparison, but also the Shadow Moses part was one of the best parts of that game. And Alice just, I'm loving the idea of Alice just or Solid Snake just slamming on people with a hobby horse. <laughs> sure. <laughs> huh? Speaking of hobby horse, we, I have, I have a new one. Ultimate hobby horse. The ultimate hobby horse. It's tough. DLC hobby horse. Oh, how insanely broken is the DLC hobby horse? <laughs> um, it restores your health with every hit. Oh my god. So with that weapon alone, you could be invincible. If you <laughs> Nothing using can it. stop us. Well, with your mad platformer skills, there wasn't a lot to stop you regardless, so why not? Embrace it. Become the god of Wonderland. Oh, touch the piggy nose. We still never died with, a uh, in combat, yeah, so. Never died of hit point loss. Oh, this is a special pig nose. It's a good thing you have a minigun. That could be a spot of bother otherwise. You can see the the looking glass line thing oh, yeah. in the background where it's all broken. I do support the monarchy in principle. I'm sure the queen is very good at what she does, whatever that is. <laughs> but is she not a person? He makes just good like points. Ourselves? Um, no. The queen is the representative of royalty appointed by God himself. Jeez. What kind of Britannian are you? 
Stupid good doctor. Oh, we haven't been to Snail Land in a while. I hope you like riddles. I... I do? Alice, I know you're fond of I am ready to answer your question about night flocks this time. What comes <laughs> next in the No, it's math. One, this looks three, like prime numbers to me. Four, seven, eleven. I can... Wait, no. That won't do. Try again. What always runs but never walks, often murmurs, never talks, has a bed but That's never sleeps. That's a sinks, river, you silly cat. Has a mouth. Or a suicidal insomniac. No, it's it's a suicidal <laughs> insomniac. I, I was wrong, I'm sorry. I never was, am always to be. No one ever saw me, nor ever will. What am I? A play of spirit. <laughs> Whatever that is. I don't know, it sounds like a ghost. Are you pretending to be dense? At night they come yes. without being This is the best one. By day they are lost. Without being stolen. What are they? <laughs> no, they're not stars. They're garbage, garbage collectors. Wrong. You're not, wrong. It's not wrong, man. Wrong. Garbage collectors what? are stars. It's just not what you were looking for. The unsung Jeez. heroes. One, three, four, <laughs> seven, but now let's actually 11. solve the math problem. You can't have a civilization without good trash collectors. You never cease to amaze. <laughs> yeah, I totally amaze you by getting... <laughs> five questions wrong. He must really have low expectations of Alice. <laughs> if that's amazing. Or maybe it's amazing in the poor sense. Oh. Still crying. Why don't you just keep crying, baby? Hmm? Uh, Big sissy. She's crazy. <laughs> also, she's of, you know, Victorian England. She's allowed to cry. That is a ominous looking door. It's an ominous looking everything. Yeah, <laughs> there's no uh, happy times in the rest of the chapter. Oh, Not like in Cartbridge. And then it got super metal. Then we get zombie car cars. The runners, I see. Who can revive themselves unless you hammer them? That's kind of rad. You gotta put him down. <laughs> but it's it's not as cool because you can. They only revive once, and you can teapot them in one hit too. <laughs> so. Oh, they grapple you. That's kind of neat. Yeah. So the other ones can, because you always come in the in the large group because they're not very strong on their own. Yeah. Especially not when every hit of the happy horse, which you need to use on them, gives you health back. Man, that Just is a metal that hobby horse. That is a skeleton reindeer kind of hobby horse. It's like a hobby stag now. Yeah. It's it. You you want to know what it's called? Hmm. The nightmare. Uh, oh. Do 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 you get it? Yeah. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure all the puns are understood. <laughs> we don't want to waste puns. I mean, I, I don't want to rob you of this final game experience. <laughs> well, it's a good thing you got the DLC or else we'd missed out on that. I know, right? <laughs> Bullet dodge. You know, it's kind of super brown, but I, I really like the kind of ominous, grody aesthetic of this place. Brown though it be. I'm kind of a fall myself, so Earth Tones are okay. Yeah, it, the aesthetics are gonna change <laughs> between places a lot. But it's never gonna go all pretty. That's for sure. Never again. Pretty era is over. Chalk. Give me the sandwiches. Yeah, Alice, you should probably just like bulldoze this place when you're done with it. Just saying. You shouldn't leave well, ruins behind. 
The Red Kingdom's in ruins, but you're no better off. When you defeated her, I tried to reclaim the castle, but I was set upon by her monstrosities, and the malignant royal bitch still reigns. I'm here to petition her. I must get inside. The only way in is through me. Sacrifices must be made. Those who say so usually mean they should be made by others. Cynicism is a disease. It can be cured. Once inside, beware of the outsized killer who patrols her domain. Never confront him. He is invincible. Now cut me loose. I'll show you the meaning of sacrifice. Oh no. The only way is through him. <laughs> he looks so resigned. Well, that's for the best. Yeah, at least you honored him with a full-on metal slam. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm glad it worked out. He looks kind of okay with it. Uh, <laughs> you, yeah, no. <laughs> well, he's okay with everything now because he's dead. Yeah, poor guy. Let's see you roll out the red carpet for yourself. Games too require hard hey. choices. Unpleasant sacrifices. Hard moral choices. To accomplish a desired goal. Do you want the blue path or the red path? I choose the green path. Oh. <laughs> I just had to be contrary, I'm sorry. Ooh. We're going to a fancy party, I see. Now we're getting to uh, the insides. Which look really nice. Yeah, it does. The light streaming through the windows looks double, double great. It reminds me of uh, the first dungeon of Darksiders. Yeah. The church. And it also makes me sad that this game doesn't have dungeon-like things, because it would actually work. Yeah, I think this this would that would have carried over really well, and you'd have a nicer variety of uh, mechanics to play with too. And you know, because you're messing around in the dungeon and going between the same rooms over and over, you would pad your game without <laughs> making it more repetitive. Yeah, it auto pads. It pads for you. Ah. Oh, he's a secret door piggy. Down there. What? That's crazy. We haven't seen a floor secret in ages. Hell, I don't think we've yeah. seen the floor secret since, like, the factory zone. Mm, Industrial maybe. zone, pardon me. Oh. There's all kinds of stuff going on here. And her eyes are still weird. <laughs> After she pulls a chain. She oh, actually wow. gave herself a minor hernia in level one. Yeah. So it really hurts. <laughs> just just some teeth back there, huh? That's kind of a sad secret. Yeah. Well. Too bad. Could have at least been a bottle. Jeez. So, uh, every every area in the the queen uh Queensland is a very, I don't want to say different, but at least unique and very distinct. Much more distinct. Yeah. There's no like, oh, I remember that 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 texture or that part of a, the thing I saw five minutes ago. Or I mean, there's, there's less of that, and there's more. Like every room definitely has its own feel. That's really cool. I kind of wish there was more of that. But that probably took a lot of time, yeah. unfortunately. Uh, development time. <laughs> Turns out producing a lot of assets is expensive. Time consuming. Yeah. Oh well. It's okay. At least, at least chapter four is a... Uh, it's real fun. A non-stop thrill ride. Oh god. There's all kinds of stuff going on here. And the queen is screaming at us somehow. What did we do? We didn't knock well, that over. It was like that when we got here. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, it's totally fine. <laughs> yeah, I think the, the Red Queen just walks around lighting candles all day. Wow, that's disconcerting. Oh. 
<laughs> this level's like they, they kind of took a halfway step into like a survival horror theme. It's weird. Somebody played Resident Evil is like, you know what's awesome of Resident Evil? Oh <laughs> Resident Evil, huh? Oh my god. I haven't Are... seen seen half of it, have I? Um <laughs> you're gonna if I think you're gonna like the rest of this chapter because there's gonna be a lot of Resident Evil things <laughs> going on. How many crests do we have to find? Not that, but. Oh, what? Gross. Oh. Okay, that's super metal. Holy shit. How do you like Nemesis? That's yeah. All right. <laughs> the White King warned us about this creature. He is invincible. Idiot. Don't care if he had a better chance with his windmills. And without risk of decapitation. He does like uh like six hearts of damage. Holy shit. Or like five. And you have to remember that with the cleaver we have a uh, half damage. Yeah. So he can kill you in like two or three hits. Yeah, so he's basically a one or two shot murder machine. Okay, that's rad. I, I like that. Good work, executioner guy. You are never safe. Also, he's a helicopter. Oh no! <laughs> oh, well. It's a good thing he stops to have a good control. Oh, damn. Right through the wall. Oh, hey, buddy. That's neat. Look at the hell. You stupid guy. Grab his eye tentacle and just pull it. <laughs> or blow up his face. Also good. <laughs> Oh, oh! I like how the rabbits stay static size. So she she drops mega rabbits when she's tiny. Yeah, yeah. Oh. We're safe for now. Oh, There's some kind of smirking cat that way. You want a smirking cat? No cats are arrogant enough without the smirk. Well, we want the secret. Delicious secrets. A weapon's intended function is almost beside the point. Ultimately, it's only as good as the person who wields it. Is that an organ? Gun control. Gun control loss. <laughs> hint, hint. Okay. Okay. I think I, think I see... The Queen's Guardian rarely leaves his filthy lair. But you're special. Well, in your own head, you should be special. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> she is chasing herself. Yeah. In really, some weird kind of way. You really ought to be the most special part of your own subconscious wonderland. Just saying. Though if, like, your subconscious wonderland stars John Tesh, I, I guess you could do worse. He's so likable. <laughs> All right, now we're loading. <laughs> Gotta load all these zombies. I want some good old ruined dudes. They really can't truck with your teapot death machine, though. <laughs> no, not much can. Oh, well, this guy can. <laughs> he he doesn't give half a crap. But he doesn't want to fight us, he oh. just wants to put us in... <laughs> he just wants to shoot us down into hell, okay. Yeah. I sent you to the basement! <sighs> what a jerk. Oh. Right behind you. Dick move, designers. Dick move. You're yes. never safe! <laughs> I can't wait till we get to the interactable thing that lets us kill that guy. Oh, he can't use stairs. He's like a Dalek. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's trapped there forever. Oh no, stairs! <laughs> My one weakness. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. No. I think he just found the way. Oh, what a jerk. <laughs> but, but he's immortal. You no. Know, but we're trapped right now. Oh, I think I see. 
we get to kill all the other, all the other enemies so we can escape. I'm gonna say we are pretty well set for teeth these days. <laughs> that there's nothing else to buy ever. Ah, how are we gonna deal with that, huh? What now, Cheshire? Oh. Don't tell the monster. It's me. Oh, I am gonna taunt the monster. It's like, <laughs> I'm right here. Maybe are you gonna you do a little dance? Petticoats. You too could float. Oh, awesome. Ah, oh, she's big, total dick. <laughs> oh, poor guy. He just wants guy. to play with you so bad. Play with you to death. Fine. You do not pledge to decapitate intruders only at your peril. Well, she will have intruders decapitated, and she won't do it herself. I imagine. Yeah. <laughs> That's the executioner's. Uh, she has people for that. Roll. I gotta say, a scythe is not a great uh, execution editing tool. Well, wow, but how does Death do it? He's got a grim. He's got a reaper. That's why he's called the Grim Reaper. Um, he's allowed because he's a universal architect. Hmm. Rules that apply to him. Like how he speaks in all capital letters. <laughs> These are the rules. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Oh god! Climb up the thing! I can't go back to Butterfly Prison. I'm too pretty. So here's the puzzle mechanic set. Weighted things. Apparently, bomb rabbits are made of like depleted uranium. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. <laughs> you don't weigh as much as Alice, because when Alice stays on the other platform, it does go down again. Well, her boots are really heavy. Yeah, I got good old-fashioned English cast-iron treads. There's been a fair amount of, like, floating, ruined scenery in this game, but this is a particularly good example. I like it. Yeah. Well, it's all about the destruction of Wonderland, so... Yeah. It's all floating around. Though I still think, um... The Tea Factory was my favorite. Floating crap in the background section. Oh, yeah. There's tons of that. <laughs> Sorry, card man. Just, just the one. The loneliest card, man. Well, he's all, he's trapped all the way up here. They can't jump. They came out of the ground. Oh, they can ground teleport. <laughs> you gotta teleport, but you gotta crap jump. Oh. No problem. Naz, yes, let's pull the skull lever. You get death. Oh, you get entrance. As good as death. Almost. Almost as good as death. <laughs> almost. Almost as good as sweet release. Man, Alice, you need to stop eating boiled eels. Balance is the golden mean of all things, Alice. Between light and dark. Between disease and health. Or even between wrong. So you think that people should be a little diseased? That's it. Good doctoring. And now we're in the oh. saturation zone. That's nice. Do you like the tile? It's blood tile from Milan. Oh. Oh. Do you like a new minigame? I kinda do. I I'm ready for some new mechanics. This, this right. one is actually pretty good. I like this one a lot. Move your pawn, okay. Okay. Do you know the like the Zelda puzzle where you and the guardian have to like Well if you ha it's hard to explain if you haven't played it, so no. I don't remember the Guardian, so I might be out of my depth there. No, I think well the example was in Twilight Princess, I think. Okay. I I never played Twilight Princess. So that would explain why. Okay. 
So basically, you and the other pawn have to meet up at the stars at the exact same point, and you only have a set amount of moves. And you can use rooks to kind of differentiate yourselves, and knights yeah. will murder your ass. Gotcha. The one weird thing is that it doesn't tell you which star you, you need to land on, or which one the other one. <laughs> but You'd think that would be pretty easy to solve. Just, you know, put that The there. first two are really easy, but it does get challenging in the later ones, which is actually good for a change. I like how Chess Alice looks really determined and grim. Checkmate, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, Chess Club is pretty intense. Yeah, if you look in the... on the walls, you can see every chess piece. Yeah. Chess Palace, you have potential. And we'll find out about it next time on Captain Planet.